So I am here at North Greenwich waiting to meet Charlie Davis. So this is an interview which is not going to be at the usual spot. So it's not at the Magic Circle because I think Charlie's a little too young to get into the Magic Circle. So we're going to wait for Charlie and see what happens. There he is. <laughs> You How are you doing? Great, you thank you. you. Hello, hello. What's your brother? Name? Freddy. Freddy, excellent. You're Freddy, a there we go. superstar. You've been on all the videos. Yeah, <laughs> had all the eggs smashed every side, everything. Yeah. <laughs> so he's finally here. We have met Charlie and Freddy. We're hello. gonna do a little interview. I'm gonna thank Freddy right now because he's gonna be filming us. Let's get this started. Hello there, welcome to another interview. I have with me Charlie Davis. Hello. So Charlie is an Instagram magician, so let's find out how Charlie got into magic. So how'd you get into magic? Okay, so uh, it was my friend at school originally, and he did like a really simple pick a card, card trick. Okay. Uh, I was really fascinated by it, and then I asked him to teach it to me, and he said, I'll only teach it to you if you give me your lunch money. Oh, uh, hustler. In, in, which, <laughs> in which I did, I went okay. hungry for that day. But, right, um, but you learned it's led yeah. to all of this. So. so what was the trick that you that you learned? Is it something very simple or...? Uh, it was simply getting someone to choose a card, mm -hmm. put it back in the deck, you and scroll through and find it. Ah, okay. It was very simple. There's a lot of versions of that out there, but that's great. So something yeah. so simple like this could inspire someone and now it's taken you to where you have been. Exactly. So let's that. find out where you have been now. So yes. this is about, how many years ago was this? Um, it was about eight, nine years ago. Eight, nine years ago, wow. Yes. And now you are, I think, one of the fastest growing Instagram magicians out there. That's that's what I think. Uh, whenever I see you, I think of social media and that sort of thing. So maybe at some point in this interview, if you can give us some tips on how someone out there watching and who wants to build their social media following, of course, uh, we could they could learn something from this. So how did you get into the whole Instagram social media thing? Um, I remember watching sort of magicians on social media, and I've been doing it for years okay but i've never seen anything out of it right so i used to create silly sort of youtube videos of me pranking my mom and my brother okay quite similar to now so it's always yeah. been there <laughs> Excellent. Quite, quite similar to now, and I, yeah. I've sort of been pranking them and doing all these different videos. Some of them not even necessarily magic related, okay. and just creating them. And it's it's been I've been doing it for a while, yeah. So when you when you talk about videos, you have a certain style when it comes to video. Yes. And I think let's talk about the character because this this could be something about what kind of a character you are on Instagram. Yeah, right? of course, of course. So uh, the character that I kind of portray, which is kind of me anyway, is sort of this guy who does tricks but kind of winds people up with okay. the tricks. Yeah, perfect. So yeah. It, it's that kind of character yeah. that I portray on social media. Yeah. Um, which is quite funny actually. I I got tried to get a gig through social media okay. and the guy who was trying to book me said please don't prank anyone at the gig and I said <laughs> well, ob obviously I'm yeah. not going to. Yeah. It's gonna be So just he thought magic. you were gonna be smashing eggs or yeah. something. <laughs> I was gonna be running around egging everyone yeah. <laughs> So it wasn't like that, it wasn't yeah. like that. Oh, that's great. <laughs> what, what I notice about you is in your videos and your Instagram stories, you're very high energy. It's like, hey guys, how's it going? And, yes. and that's like, do you need that high energy when it comes to Instagram? I don't think you need it. It's just what I see and it, right. it, it's what works for me okay. essentially. Okay. And I see there's a lot of people on social media that are trying to do different styles that they've seen before. Mm -hmm. And I think the main piece of advice is you just need to really find your own style. Right. Okay. So that's, that's important. So it's like 100%. it's like it's like performing magic too. So I think again, when you perform magic, you're performing to either a wedding audience or your restaurants or whatever, but when you're performing magic on social media and Instagram, you're performing it to the viewer. Oh, now there's also a thing where people on social media can rewind and watch your video again and again. Yeah. So when it comes to that, in terms of flashing and not giving away too many secrets, do you film a video many takes and do you constantly edit a lot of stuff? Oh, so many takes. It takes a lot of editing as well. Okay. But uh, the thing is, there's always, especially on YouTube, there's this thing where you can slow the video down as well. Oh, right. So they can right. literally see it frame by frame. So ah, that you can't, <laughs> yeah. you have to be, you have to try and get it perfect. Right. Um, okay. It can be difficult, but uh, at the end of the day, 
I'm just trying to. I think ma my main goal is just to entertain. Good, perfect. That's yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's that, and that's how you get your audience. So also, would, would would consistency be like posting? Do you post one once every week or do you post once in? A so few days? I post five times a week on Instagram. Five times. I post a week. seven wow. times a week on TikTok. Okay. Try and put up a Facebook video, three minute Facebook long video every single week. Now, are these different videos or the same thing? Uh, they are different. Pretty much different videos. So, the, for example, the five Instagram videos I will have, and I will upload to TikTok as well. Yeah. And then I will film two other videos that are exclusive for TikTok. Wow, that's a lot of work. I mean, this it is sure a full-time job, really. If you think about it. Yeah. You're you're 17 now, so that's why you can't be at the Magic Circle. But once you're 18, you're going to join of the Magic course. Circle, of course, and then yeah. you're going to do proper gigs. Now, when you when you get into proper gigging, are you going to still have the same character? So would this be your Instagram character, and then your gigs would be a different character? Or? I mean, I already when I perform, I'm already going into that kind of character of this kind of cheeky young magician. Because people know you for that. So yes. even if even if you're at the gig and you change a character, people have said, oh, you're Charlie from Instagram and that yeah. sort of thing. And in, when it comes down to marketing and hashtags and stuff, you said you've been to a course? Yes, so for so. example, uh, like I said, I've been doing social media for years okay. and I've only really seen a bit of success within the past couple of months. Right. Um, one day I woke up and I saw that my video, my video usually got like a thousand views okay. and then I woke up and it was on 50,000 okay. and then I woke up and then the next day I woke up it was on 200,000 and now wow. it's sitting on about 1.6 million or something. And this is one of your videos? This is one of my videos. It was, I basically got a Sharpie yes. and I told my brother and my mum to open it and the, the Sharpie exploded as oh, they opened it. Oh right. So how do you think that video did so well? Was it because of people sharing it or was it because of Instagram that put the video up on the platform? So or? there's a lot of things to it. For Instagram you have to focus on a thumbnail. So oh, right. um, for those of you who don't know what that is, it's basically the photo that you see before you click on a video. Uh, so for example, I'll always take the thumbnail separate to the actual video. <gasps> right, wow. And I've noticed your thumbnails are a little more pop-up, sort of 3D kind of yeah, thing. So is so that an editing software that you use? I or? edit them, uh, for anyone out there, I edit them on Snapseed. Uh, ah. It's a snap that you can get on your phone. I, I know Snapseed. Yes. I have Snapseed and I see I don't use yeah. it, so I've just learned something new. So you can, right. you can go on there and I really increased saturation, okay. bring out the colors. Okay. Uh, you'll see yellow arrows everywhere. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Yes. So, and how do you put these arrows? Is that also on Snapseed? I bring the photo into Photoshop afterwards, make the wow. last final touches, and then put the arrows in afterwards. That is a lot of work it for sure one is. video. My God, it that's sure amazing. Is. So you guys watching home and thinking, oh, do you know what? Let me just take a video on Instagram and go, bro. Yeah. Now nah, this is this is not this is proper. This is proper. It's job. a lot of work. Wow. And then obviously the multiple takes. And now, what about your your mum and brother? So I met Freddie. Freddie is the one okay. filming right now. So my brother's <laughs> the one filming. Yeah, they used to be like with the with the videos. They they've always been supportive of me doing the magic. Right. But when I did the videos, they were kind of a bit like, oh, really? So um, they don't really yeah. want to be part of that because yeah. I mean, if you're putting water and egging them <laughs> in the videos, I mean, if you're going with multiple takes there, that yeah. could be a, a nightmare. The, the thing <laughs> is as well. Now I think now they they really do they do love it. My my mum works in a school okay. and everyone at school watches the videos, oh. which is really funny. Sim right. Simply for the reason <laughs> of they, they, all, they all know of, of them yeah. and I've gone in there a few times performed to them. Wow. At first she so found you're like it an a celebrity issue. when you go there, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. People want to get pictures with you. At first she found it an issue yeah. and she was a bit like, oh, I, I don't know what yeah. they But then everyone just loved them and she's now known as like the... I don't want to say the cool teacher. My mum's right. not cool. But, yeah. <laughs> but for everybody else, your mum's cool. But yeah. yeah, exactly that. Exactly. So in final thoughts, what, what advice do you have for someone out there who's just getting started? Okay, so starting off on Instagram, you need to have a video that is, first of all, entertaining. Second of all, you need to try and capture them within the first three seconds if you okay. can. Okay. Because people are just scrolling through Instagram. They, right, they, don't, right. they, they don't care about... That's People when the thumbnail comes bit. into place. Exactly. Yeah. So you need something quick to happen. Okay. And so yeah, just really, just go out there and produce content. I see so many people trying to be perfect with their content, trying to get it perfect. Yeah. Just put out as much as you can, okay. and then you will really see, you, you'll see it elevate. And it's not, one thing that often does get a bit misconstrued is people think that 
you're just it's just gonna happen overnight. You just right. produce a video yeah. and then you're gonna get a million views. It's really not. I've been doing this literally for years. Wow. Working, 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 and finally I'm starting to see some sort of success. That's good. And what about collaborations with other artists? Uh, collaboration, very important. So yeah. for example, uh, I'm doing a few next week as well okay. with uh, certain people who are quite popular on platforms like TikTok and Instagram and stuff. Yeah. But yeah, collaboration is definitely important. It can also open you up to uh, a different wider audiences. Yeah. yeah. So for example, quite a funny story, uh, a few weeks ago, my one of my followers messaged me uh, he was from Russia and he said, Oh, it was great to see you on TV last night. And I said, Wow. What, what? I said, What do you mean? And he went, Oh, uh, well, you, were on, you were on Russian TV That's last night. That's so cool. And I was like, Oh, he sent me the link over and they just they just put it on there. <laughs> it was crazy. Amazing. Just some random thing, yeah. Wow, it's amazing. So, well, you've heard a lot from Charlie. And if you want to see Charlie back again, let me know. He's a good friend of mine. He'll, he'll be happy to come and do this again. So, thank you for this. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate yeah. it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. See you guys next time. Bye bye.